Hello, Easter residents. My name is Felicia Relich, and I'm your city clerk. This is Yolanda Holmes, and she's the deputy clerk and director of elections. Together, we make up your city clerk team. Some exciting new things happened for residents this year. In 2017, City Hall opened for lunch, and in 2018, we began opening back on Fridays. The city is on an upward tick. I'm also excited to have spearheaded the City of Inkster Go Green project with Laserfish. Laserfish is an online repository for all city documents to be retained. City documents, old and new, will be scanned and categorized in this online repository. This will allow for employees to become more efficient when doing business. No more worrying about busted pipes or fire, and we get to save money by cutting down on paper costs. Needless to say, we are excited about not killing so many trees. Each department will scan documents henceforth and older, documents that must be retained. This is an enormous undertaking for the city, but Mayor Nolan saw the need and made sure the city departments had the resources to implement. Inkster is without a doubt coming into the 21st century, and efficiency is the word of the year. Wes, what? Coming. See? Click six. Yay! That's right, residents. It's here, and we need you. The city hosted a C Click Fix pep rally in December. C Click Fix is the city's new mobile app where you can report an issue or send a picture. Once the issue reported, the city will respond directly back to the citizens. This mobile app allows for direct contact with residents and accountability of city departments, but we need you to sign up. Look how easy it is. Pull out your mobile device, go to your Play Store, type in C, click, fix, City of Inkster, and sign up. Voila, it's that easy. Medical marijuana was once a taboo conversation has now turned into a medical conversation. And Inkster has decided to take that conversation and be on the cutting edge of regulating medical marijuana facilities for our city. The state passed legislation with further clarification for the use of medical marijuana. The city of Inkster accepted the call and opportunity to diversify our tax and revenue stream. We have passed ordinances, established a medical marijuana application, set zoning requirements, all to the tune of 135000 in 2017, alone in just fees, applications, not to mention the city will see additional tax assessment funds for the police department and persons who need medical marijuana are able to come to our city and get their medical needs met. Thank you, citizens, for entrusting the mayor and city officials and being receptive to the city looking at creative ways to reinvent itself. In 2013, as city clerk, I applied for a grant to receive electronic poll books. These poll books help with a more efficient voting experience. They also cut down on a post-election work. In 2015, I applied for a grant for the electronic revolving door at the recreation complex. Now in 2018, we have new voting equipment that was provided by the Help America Vote Act in the state. Can we get a whoop whoop? Also, uh, Wayne County will be using, all of Wayne County will be using the equipment. So Yolanda is going to show you the new voting equipment. This is the new Dominion voting equipment. This equipment was purchased for the voters of Michigan for a better experience at the polls. The Dominion voting equipment is, ha has less jams and is supposed to be faster tabulation. This is in hopes of making the polling experience a better time for our voters. We look forward to rolling the equipment out in the upcoming 2018 elections. The clerk's office is always looking for election inspectors. If you're interested in becoming an election inspector, please contact the clerk's office at 313-563-9770 for more information. Once again, residents of the city of Inkster, thank you for allowing myself and Yolanda Holmes to serve you. Thank you.